Begin with a green foam brick. Decide whether you want to make a horizontal sculpture or a vertical sculpture. Start by scoring a line for the base. It wants to be at least a half inch up. Use a fettling knife to cut in about a quarter of an inch. Do this on all the sides. This is going to be horizontal. That'll be the base of the sculpture. Use the knife to poke holes through the foam. We're going to work very spontaneously. It gets messy, so use a tray or some paper to work on. You can use a rasp to find your shapes as well. This is a simple clay modeling tool. It works great for cutting away the foam as well. I'm done sculpting. I think it's ready for the patina. We're going to use magic metallic paint. It patinas just like metal. It works on just about anything. This is a cardboard box in a silk flower on the top. This is air dry clay. And this is polymer clay, like Sculpey. I like to start with a base coat of dark bronze. It really likes to be mixed well, so I poured it into a bowl so I can see how good it's mixed. You need to get all the thick parts all mixed together. You want to give your sculpture at least three coats. I'm 
I'm giving it a third coat of dark bronze. I'm going to sponge some copper onto it while it's still wet. It'll be lighter than the dark bronze underneath. I poured some green patina into this small spray bottle. You want to spray your sculpture while the paint is still wet. I'm going to give this sculpture two coats of dark bronze and then a coat of steel so I can rust it. While the dark bronze is still wet, I'm going to spray some patina on the dark bronze to make it green. Mix the steel magic metallic up really well because it will settle a lot. For the steel, rapid rust is the patina. The sculptures are starting to dry. You can see how the magic metallic is changing color. This is the rust changing. See how I left the green showing underneath. 